Hi Cancer, this is your seven month um, vlog. Uh, I, I got an idea and I thought, right, everything has changed so much. By the way, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. Um, the energy has changed so much. What with COVID-19, nobody saw it coming or nobody knew it would be um, uh, uh, um, a COVID-19. Uh, we knew that there were going to be big different changes this year um, and uh, right uh, I'm trying to also show you my gratitude and thanks by supporting you with extra readings or well see for instance I'm sorry I don't know what to say anymore I'm lost for words and this is the seventh video I'll be making they've been really great but I'm a bit lost for words because I didn't expect it and somebody said to me why didn't all the fortune tellers see this coming and my answer is uh, only I can answer for myself I said I knew there were going to be, be big changes but nobody can see what the change will be it's like time time is man-made and that's why I have decided uh, to go through with this idea to bring it out into the material world so that you can uh, compare this video, this reading for the next seven months to the yearlies. I've slightly changed it. I've also used um, not only the dog tarot and the cat tarot but an inspiration card, a Lenamon card and, t and um, tell and show card or show and tell card. This is, I'll go into that a little bit more when I get to that, but I'm also using a romance card. Now, as we all know that big changes and living on top of each other in small apartments or uh, with the rest of the family, if we are lucky enough to do so, or to be pulled apart from family, um, especially when we have grandparents of our children's or our parents, um, that it uh, it does it brings more stress because we can't be with our uh, weaker uh, generations and we worry a lot more and so we I'm trying to just um, give you a little bit food for thought um, and perhaps inspire you to 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 compare and uh, 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 compare the the yearly one with the next seven months and to inspire you to see that there are be beautiful things still around us and coming. Okay, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading, then please look uh, below this video in the description box. There you can see all the um, uh, details, or you can have a look underneath the little white dot just there and see uh, the details. Um, and that will take you to the website and there you will not only see um, uh, different options for uh, readings but also the reviews um, on the decks and interviews. So let's get started with your reading. We start with June and in June you have the Three of Earth. So for some of you, you might be get seen and uh, getting recognition for your hard work, like some of you might have been working from home and one day at the office or just full time from home and that means coping with children or other people around the house and it is really really difficult to work from home when you've got little children or other people in the house and you haven't got enough rooms to make it your office space. So my hats to off to you and my respect and if you work in the healthcare perhaps you might get recognition and getting a promotion because of how you've handled it how you've been dedicating um, yourself to the patients and to your work look at this you've got the Sun so that could be a promotion definitely you're in the spotlight something is being illuminated perhaps your hard work or that you have maintained your study to improve, to climb up the ladder. Ooh, it might be coming sooner than you think. I know schools were closed, but you most probably have been studying at home. 
good on you. There's happy times because you've got the sun. It means promotion going up a next level, either at work or in a relationship. It could mean marriage. It could be moving in together, moving home. It could also mean going on holiday at long last. It could also mean that you might find out that you're pregnant or you might be hearing of a birth. This could be a, of a child or of a project. But positive things are in on the horizon. Now you need more information about this illumination, this situation or question that you have. Also, it could be a Leo that has an eye on you as the sun represents Leo. Now you've most probably noticed in the last couple of weeks that I've been giving you um, a zodiac signs for cards um, as the big arcana represents zodiac signs and so do the kings, queens and pages. Okay, so let's carry on. In July you have the shaman and the shaman that's the high priest. And the high priest could be a Taurus. So it could be a Taurus that's giving you advice. Or you could be giving a Taurus an advice. You could be the advisor. Because the high priest is an advisor. It could be a teacher. It could be a doctor. It could be somebody from municipalities or an institution. Could be a bookkeeper. Could be a judge or an advocate. Anything like that or a father figure. So if you need um, information, you might seek advice from a professional person or a father figure. You have the Five of Swords. This is the Disagreement and Argument card, okay? Don't go into arguments. Walk away. Don't get involved in other people's drama. Nobody is the winner here. Perhaps you might need advice on how to deal with such a person. Wow. This could be with a Taurus, if the Taurus isn't the advisor. Then we have the Earth Alpha male, so that is the King of Pentacles. He's got the Midas touch, and the Midas touch means that everything he touches turns to gold, or turns to positivity. So you could have made an investment, and uh, it's uh, rendering a rediment now, so you'll see your return. You might have invested in love and you'll see the return. Because you go for durability and long-term relationships and things. For long-term investments. You give it all. Okay. Or this could be a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus. Again, Taurus is significant, is coming out to the forefront. Then you have the Two of Wands. You are looking out to the future, so you've guessed it, you're making plans for the future. For the long term, so that is what I think the King of Pentacles is you. Now that is in August. Now in September, you've guessed it, you've got the star. So wishes and goals are coming true, so perhaps your investment is coming to fulfillment in September. Underneath that we have as clarification card the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. It looks like the tree is being burnt. <laughs> it's really crazy. But he's sitting there. So it could be a new job. It is and one stand for action, creativity, logic and passion. It could be a new job, it could be a new hobby. It could be that you're changing your hobby into a job or um, um, a business. You could have a new passion. You're very logical and strategic. So it could be with a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo. Perhaps that was your wish, wish to have a new beginning and a, a relationship with a fire sign. Now you've got something magical. 
you've got the shaman and the first time I got this deck I thought this looked like a shaman because of all the baskets I thought they were all his herb boxes and, and, and baskets <laughs> but it is the four of cups I think no the four of earth the four of earth that's the four of pentacles you might be holding on to something or someone you might be holding on to money but this is also a, 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 for me a spiritual card that's why I thought it was a shaman because of all the feathers and everything um, it is also a card of opening up your mind your third eye your ideas let ideas come into you because you've closed off your mind and you can see the, the pentacle on his chest he's closed off his solar plex and his heart so open up your heart and your solar plex as well let the joy of life come to you if you close it off you can't expect to laugh and love and be joyous so open up your mind your heart and your solar plex if you've been tight on money then you're allowed to spend it you've got enough for a rainy day if you've been spending money then tighten up the purse strings okay and that is in October so be careful with a closed if you've closed yourself off open up you'll get things back threefold so make sure you do things f uh, with a pure heart and with love okay don't hold on to people too tight because that is um, when they feel stifled then they will walk away so don't don't tempt l uh, uh, fate then you've got the king of chalices so if you open up you will be meeting that person this could be a woman um, with a career mindset and this could also be a man the king of chalices he is a man that can take care of his family he may definitely takes care of his family he stands for love passion and nurturing he'll nurture anything he loves so nurture your idea nurture the people around you but there could be a king of cups coming towards you or you could be meeting he could be having an eye on you July is cancer Leo so and that's the Leo card or it could be a Scorpio okay Scorpio so we now we have um, Taurus and then we have um, again Taurus because he's the king but don't exclude Virgo and Capricorn we've got Aries we've got Cancer Cancer is the king but don't exclude Scorpio again or Pisces and now we're going into November and in November you have strength again Leo you are definitely in your strength when you open up your heart your solar plex you're in control okay and your mind you'll be in your strength and you're stronger than you think okay and then we have the lovers and that is Gemini lovers is Gemini so you will be forming a partnership in November because um, the lovers means soulmates you've found your soulmate so he could be coming in in October and you will bond deeply and strongly in November now you've got the three of C in December Ooh, that's the three of cups that's not only celebrations for Christmas but this could be celebrations because you might be taking it up to the next level you might be getting engaged or living together like I said in June or July and you might be getting married or engaged again in December you've got the magician well wow you can do it you can but don't uh, um, don't you know m stay open and honest don't make any illusions and don't have any illusions and don't 
see dis and don't be dis make sure that you won't be disillusioned stay with the program stay real okay keep true and you've got the overall energy the ace of pentacles money is definitely coming in so that you most probably can buy that door or have that job or a new business awesome it could also be a birth a new something it could be a birth of a child or a project and the project could be a house doing up a house again you have water you have the sea guardian and that's the knight of water he will bring you news of love or passion also he could be bringing you an offer an offer of what this is the overall energy so it can be happening in june or in um, november october november december so the third quarter of the year wow beautiful now I'm going to the inspiration card cancer and it says be an example of inner peace you are an example because you've got recognition you are a caring nurturing loving person okay but keep your emotions under control Being an example of inner peace is an effective way of expressing your desire. To offer inspiration to others when you're at peace with your life and in a state of tranquility, you actually send, send out a vibration of energy that impacts all living creatures including plants, animals and even babies and this flower I love this flower I think it's a, a, a fuchsia I call it the ballet so this is the the skirt and the tutu and the legs that's how I see it the ballerina I love that flower or it's the broken heart it could be the broken heart but it look there's a lot of plants that look yes this could be the broken heart there is a um, there is a plant called broken heart it's so beautiful but have faith faith in yourself as others have faith in you have trust as others have trust in you because you're such a beautiful person that can be an example of inner peace you can be the king of cups the status of the king is the highest because he's got his emotions under control you have choices to make don't be depressed huh? okay you've got the six of wands there so that means that you are have victory and you are the champion you might be moving home now what this card I was going to tell you this is show and tell um, e CEOs managers manageresses uh, psychologist, psychiatrist, anybody that wants to break the ice and wants to get into your brain can use these cards. Even families, they do that for fun. To break the ice and get the kids to tell them in a sort of a game. Okay, What does this picture mean to you? These are all wires with uh, telephone, uh, different telephone uh, attachments to it is somebody pulling your strings does that mean to you or are you pulling the strings do you have to keep in connection with everybody is it worth what does this picture say to you or mean to you I will hold it up and you can take a screenshot you can pause it and you can make a screenshot out of it or are you in charge of a lot of communications? Are you a person that hires people that work in a call center? Leave your definition below if you like this video. And the romance card is make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. 
Well, love is certainly in your reading because you've got the lovers. Open your heart to receive. You've got the Four of Pentacles. So open up. Receive joy and gratitude. Show gratitude. Okay, Cancer. I love you very much. Take care. Stay safe. And I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for being my cyber angels. And thank you for clicking and liking and sharing. Take care and be blessed.